Following the lockdown to suppress transmission of COVID-19, the Minister of Health started a nationwide rapid assessment as a necessity to rule out possible pockets of community transmission that could have been missed in the daily surveillance. According to the Minister of Health, the assessment targets porous borders, truck drivers, and contacts of some initial COVID-19 patients who are not tested on time. The population groups targeted include communities along the routes of the truck drivers, communities at the border crossing points, healthcare workers, market vendors, religious leaders, weighing bridge area communities, highway law enforcement officers like traffic police, army and LODUs, police and prison inmates, teachers at selected boarding schools, taxi drivers and conductors, fishing communities and other communities outside the populations listed above. Only four people have been found positive from the assessment. A total of 14,061 participants had their samples tested out of the 23,414 targeted. The four sporadic cases were one, a 30-year-old male police officer from Masindi district, two, a 48-year-old female police officer from Chotera district, three, 40-year-old male truck driver identified among the border communities from Chotera district, and four, a 22-year-old male a Ugandan student at Bukova in Tanzania identified in Rakai district. According to the Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Ruth Cheng, the early institution of the 35 presidential guidelines and her ministry's standard operating procedures controlled possible transmission of COVID-19. This is part of the preliminary conclusions derived from the survey. One, there is no evidence of community transmission in Uganda at this point in time. Two, as evidenced from Rakai, Chotera districts, communities in border districts are at high risk. Three, regarding population groups, road law enforcement officers are also at high risk. She says the country is scaling up COVID-19 testing capacity to 10,000 PCR tests per day. A number of extra laboratories have been assessed across the country to be activated for testing and reduce the burden on Uganda Virus Research Institute, which has been running up to 30,000 tests per day. The following laboratories have been assessed and are deemed ready. One, Makere University, Department of Microbiology and Immunology, which has already been activated to test the rapid survey samples. Two, the National Health Laboratory Services, or CPHL, as most people know it, will dedicate a capacity of 2,000 tests per day to COVID and will continue to provide HIV viral load and EID services effectively. Three, the Infectious Disease Research Collaboration in Tororo District. Four, the UVRI plague laboratory in Arua, five, Gulu University Laboratory, six, Rakai Health Sciences Laboratory in Rakai District, and seven, the laboratory in Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital. In addition, we have equipped laboratories at Mutukula and Malaba borders with gene expert machines to reduce the turnaround time of results for inbound truck drivers. Additional labs will be added on the scale-up plans as we acquire them. According to the Minister of Health, knowledge on the presence or absence of community transmission is guiding the phase lifting of the lockdown, in addition to several other measures in place. World Health Organization warns against early lifting of the lockdown. Yesterday, uh, uh, Mike Ryan, uh, our executive director, says that we, w we might be in this disease for a long time if we don't have a vaccine. So we have to learn to live with it. But at the same time, there are promising vaccine research going on. 
and yet they are not here. So for the next 18 months or 12 months, we have to do all the effort so that cases don't overwhelm the system. To date, the country has 139 confirmed cases of COVID-19, which include 73 Ugandans, 35 Kenyans, 19 Tanzanians, 3 Burundians, 2 Chinese, 1 Canadian, 1 Indian, 1 Congolese, 1 from Rwanda, and 3 Eritreans. Of the 79 that are truck drivers, 35 of them have returned to their respective countries. Currently, there are 32 COVID-19 active cases admitted to various hospitals across the country. All are in stable condition. 63 patients have fully recovered from COVID-19. Uganda has not registered any COVID-19 death. Benat Higa, UBC.